Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and welcome to a very casual new makeup release video. Uh, this is not my usual filming day. I'm filming a Sunday rather than Saturday. Uh, my hair is freshly washed and air dried, living its best life, doing whatever it wants to. Uh, very minimal makeup. I have to work in a few hours. No use wasting a good look on a forklift. So let's just go ahead and get into it. It is also very dark and gloomy and cloudy today, so I apologize for the lighting and of course someone is mowing their lawn when it's very clearly about to rain and I'm sitting down to film. So let's just go ahead and get started. So of course we're going to start with Colourpop. They have released their new So Very Lovely collection. Collection includes the So Very Lovely eyeshadow palette Super Shock blushes in three different shades lippy sticks, and creme gel pencils. The packaging is very pretty with this blush pink and the metallic gold. The shades of the blushes look really nice. That metallic pink shimmery kind of highlighter hybrid shade looks really interesting. And there's like a nice rich coral that's nice for summer. But I mean... It's a... A uh, light peachy, purpley, pinky, warm tone. We've seen this. I mean, it does have some some unique shades, but I mean, it's no secret that ColourPop just releases so much that at a certain point you really are just duping yourself. I'm more than certain you don't need this palette if you own more than a few ColourPop palettes. You probably already have this. You know what I want to see from ColourPop? Neons. Like, do a bright, neon, electric, summer collection. That's what I think ColourPop should come out with. I mean, Lord knows they're not done for the summer. They're, they might have that up their sleeve, but it's just... It's pretty basic. It's a light, pinky, peachy... There's a nice lavender matte in there that's probably really pretty. It's pretty. Do you need this? Probably not. The blushes look nice. Um, it's pretty basic. I want to see something new. I want to see neons. That's what I want to see from ColourPop. I've seen this before. I don't want to see this anymore. <laughs> so keeping on with ColourPop, Soul Body, their sister brand, also has a new product. This is a face and body makeup. Um, a multitasking face and body foundation enhances your natural beauty. Creamy formula, blah, 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 uniform coverage. Perfected finish that lasts all day. 12 shades, medium to buildable coverage. Transfer resistant. Natural soft matte finish. Coconut water, papaya extract, vitamin E. This one is also already available. I don't know how I feel about all this like body makeup coming out. My hair is just having a moment. I don't know how I feel about all this body makeup, like, I mean, I get it if maybe you have maybe some acne on your chest or some uneven tones or something, but are people really putting like foundation all over their bodies? I find a transfer resistant very hard to believe, like, if you're wearing this in the summer and you've got on like a light summer dress, maybe it's white, there's zero chance this is not getting all over your dress. I can't imagine this is really transfer resistant. I do like the shade range though. For the fact that it only has 12 shades, there is a nice range from fair to deep dark. I like the shade range on that, I will give them that, but I don't know about this body makeup thing. I don't know who's putting foundation from head to toe. That's a lot. That's aggressive. I mean, maybe, like I said, if you have discoloration or maybe you have acne on your chest or your shoulders or or something you want to cover in a specific area, but, like, the way they have it in the promo photos, this girl is wearing it on half of her entire body. So, I don't know about this one. I don't know if I'm with the uh, body makeup trend. I can't imagine it's just not messy and you end up with foundation on your clothes and that's just not cute. I mean, if it really is transfer resistant, cool. It's gonna be affordable, so if it's something you're looking for, that one's already available. 
So this one was actually revealed right after I stopped filming last week. This is the new Red Velvet Cupcake Palette from Glam Light. They did sneak peek this a while ago and they just showed the inside. Um, very cute. Packaging is adorable. I like the little ice cream palette. It's got the sprinkles that move on the front. Um, swatches look incredible. I've never tried Glam Light, but let me tell you that ice cream palette and the cake palette. I thought about it. Um, to me, this seems like a Valentine's Day release. It's very red, pink, purple. Um, I'm getting Valentine's Day vibes. Maybe they should have saved this one for a later release. But it is cute. I do like it. I've heard nothing but good things about the Glam Light formula. As long as it's not that big, obnoxious packaging from like the burger palette and the pizza palette, no one needs that. But um, this is cute. I do like that they've toned the packaging down a little bit to just having the food item on the front of the package, not making it the entire package. So it is cute. I like the theme. I like that they stick with their theme. They do it well. The packaging is adorable. There's a little cupcake in the pan imprinted. Really cute. It's pretty, but to me it seems like a more of a Valentine's Day release than a summer release. And this one is already available in case you were interested. So now let's just dive right into this one. Um, NARS is still not letting go of the damn orgasm blush. They've now released the new Orgasm on the Beach cheek palette. Oh, and a jumbo orgasm blush for $40 because who goes through a jumbo blush that you just keep releasing and releasing and re-releasing and releasing again and releasing things inspired by the blush like NARS, we got it. We got it. Trust me. There's, en there's enough. Listen, BH Cosmetics, I need you to take that uh, Let That Shit Go palette from last week and send it over to NARS. Please. Let that shit go. We get it, Nars. You love a good orgasm over there. Cool. That's great. How about a new idea? Can we do that? Please? <laughs> Aside from the fact that they're still riding this orgasm train, the colors look nice. It's a blush palette. It's nothing you've never seen from Nars before. Literally, we've seen this from Nars over and over and over again. Nars, delivering orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. Anyways, um, this one's available now in case you were interested. Next, we did get a sneak peek from MAC. They are dropping a new collection. And they've just shown the highlighter for now. The packaging is beautiful. It actually is a new shade, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too, too familiar with MAC as a brand, but it will include this highlighter in the shade Floor Shore. That's kind of cute because it's flower themes. Floor like flower in French, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But it's just a nice champagne gold highlighter. Nothing revolutionary, but at least it's a new shade. They didn't just re-promote something they've already released a million times in new packaging. So this is just a sneak peek of the highlighter. Packaging looks beautiful. Thumbs up for actually coming out with a new shade. Um, I don't purchase from MAC, they're not cruelty free, but it's pretty, it's different, it's nice for summer. I like the colors, I like the packaging. Hopefully the rest of the collection will be exciting and not just a bunch of re-promotes in pretty packaging. So here's something that I thought was really interesting. I've never heard of this brand before, but the brand Hims has released the Blur Stick. Um, I did look at their Instagram. It's a makeup and skincare brand for men, which is actually really interesting. And they have teamed up with A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez is putting foundation on in a promo picture, which is something I never thought I'd see. Um, so it says here, camouflage everything from blemishes to razor burn to dark eye circles, easy to use formula, sweat proof stays where you put it. 
nourishing skin ingredients, aloe extract, dog rose oil, jojoba seed oil, eight shades, $17 each. This is really cool. This is new. Um, I like it. Let's shatter these gender barriers. A foundation made specifically for men. I like it. You know, who says men don't want to cover up imperfections on their face too? You don't have to be a man in a full face of makeup to just want to cover up a little something here and there. And they got A-Rod to do the promo shots. So who doesn't want to be like a major league baseball star putting foundation on? I like it. The packaging is sleek and gray. This is cool. It's different. I like it. And this one is available now in case you are interested. Next, we did see a new collection from Kiko Milano, and this is the Dolce Diva collection. The packaging is beautiful. It's got like this basket weave pattern on it, kind of like a straw basket. There's the gold for the highlighters, this like satin, kind of soft metallic royal blue on the rest of the products. The eyeshadow has the packaging in white. Really, really pretty. I like this. Packaging, stunning. It's a huge collection, wow. Um, there's the After Sun Cream, and After Sun Lotion for face and body enriched with aloe vera extract, shea butter, almond oil. That's nice if you do get a little burnt in the sun. It's nice to have something to put on your skin afterwards. There's a Baked Blush Trio, Radiant Finish in three shades, Baked Bronzer. Mm, it says three shades. The three shades don't look very different. They all look like they're for like a medium skin tone. Maybe it's just a picture. One looks a little bit lighter. I don't know. But so there are three bronzers, um, two baked highlighters, a blender kit, double ended face brush, eyeshadow definer. What's an eyeshadow definer? I don't know what an eyeshadow definer is. Okay, two eyeshadow palettes, Fresh Feel Setting Powder, Glam Cushion Highlighter, Long Lasting Lip Color, Magnetic Loose Eyeshadows, Nail Lacquer Waterproof Lip Liner. This is a huge collection, but that is very Kiko Milano. They tend to release these giant collections. The eyeshadow palettes look really pretty, actually. Kind of giving me Charlotte Silbury vibes without the, what is it, $52 price tag? I'm going to show the eyeshadows. Eyeshadow palettes, $16 each. That's not bad at all. The eyeshadow quads look really pretty. They do really look like a high-end Charlotte Tilbury or maybe like a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad. Beautiful. Highlighters look pretty. There's a gold and a pink. There's also a liquid highlighter that kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury, um, that glow wand that everyone loves. Overall, the collection looks really pretty. I've never tried anything from Kiko Milano. I do believe they are available at Ulta. They're available online at Ulta. I don't think I've ever seen them in store. If this was available in store, I might consider picking some of this up. That gold highlighter in the gold basket weave packaging. Very pretty. I like the eyeshadow quads too. I like this collection. It looks very pretty. Soft, pink, glowy. It's pretty. Could the bronzers stand to be darker? Absolutely. But this is pretty. It's a huge collection. And it is all available now online at Ulta. So next, P. Louise has revealed some new eyeshadow palettes. There is um, the All I See is Signs eyeshadow palette with 21 shades. Many of which look exactly the same. And then there are three mini eyeshadow palettes. A purple one, a blue one, and a pink one, and new paint shades. Okay, the theme is kind of different. It's like dollar signs, um, there's like fake money, there's a bank imprinted dollar signs, gold bars, a piggy bank. Okay, I'm not mad at the theme, it's different. Um, the paint shades look a little weird. I guess there's like a gold, a brown, and a green. Um, golden treasures, paid in pink, must be the money. 
What shade is paid in pink? That looks brown. It's like a deep mauve kind of pink, kind of, I guess. I've never tried anything from P. Louise. She did have her controversial moments that turned a lot of people off from the brands. I know a lot of people love her eyeshadow bases, but um, the big eyeshadow palette, it's kind of repetitive. There's a lot of similar shades. I don't think this needed to be a 21 shade eyeshadow palette. There's a lot of similar yellows and oranges. I think the imprints in the palettes are kind of the coolest things. The mini palettes look cute, very pigmented, the swatches look nice. In terms of the products, they look kind of cool. The, the big palette is a little unnecessary to me. The little ones are cute. I think she's a little bit late on the monochromatic train, like, everybody's already done that. You're a little behind. So these will be coming soon. So we do have a new release from Huda Beauty. This is the Glow Wish Multi Dew Skin Tint, and I believe there's also a powder. Uh, moisturizing Formula 13 Super Stretchable Shades. I've never heard of foundation referred to as super stretchable. Um, lightly tinted, perfect level of pearl to blur and brighten. Um, also does not move all over the place. 12 hour wear, mask proof, transfer proof. Keeps you glowing all day. I feel like I'm talking about a new face and body tinted moisturizer, light, dewy, cream, finish, light, long wear, 12 hour transfer proof, put it on your body, glowy all day kind of product every single week. Um, the finish does look really, really pretty. It looks very glowy and dewy. I do like that. So just say it's multitasking makeup with skin benefits, vegan and never tested on animals, sustainable packaging, 100% recycled cartons, skin loving ingredients, and a 90% and naturally derived. Um, I do like that. I love the sounds of it being sustainable, recyclable, very nice. So the powder is a bronzing powder. I thought it was a setting powder, but it's a bronzer. Um, creamy formula adds warmth, warmth and dimension. Five shades last up to 12 hours. Buildable and gives a blurring effect. Packed full of shea butter, vitamin E, ugly red bell pepper. What the hell? Ugly red bell pepper extract, uh, rose oil, I do like the looks of this. I like that it's very sustainable, natural, plant-derived. The bronzers do look really cool. They're like marbles. Not surprised. The girl loves marbling products, but the bronzers look cool. I like the bronzers. The finish on the tinted moisturizer looks really nice, really glowy, fresh, dewy. These are nice. I don't see a price on these but it does say they will be launching on June 1st. I like this release. Out of the plethora of tinted moisturizers I've been talking about lately, I like this one. I like the finish of it. I like how it looks. It looks very glowy and soft and dewy. I like this one. I like this release, very on trend. I love what it stands for. I love that it's sustainable, vegan, cruelty-free. Looks very nice, and again, these will be launching on June 1st. So we do have some new shades and scents of the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. Um, the only reason I'm mentioning this is because I saw the yellow one and I had a feeling that it was banana scented, and it is. I love, love, love the smell of banana. I love it. I've been on the hunt for banana scented products. I would not spend $23 on a lip balm slash glossy type product, but it's banana scented. That's all. It's banana scented. That's all I wanted to say. There's also watermelon, cocoa kiss, and mango kiss, but it's banana scented. If it were cheaper, I might consider getting the banana one solely because it's banana scented. So these ones are available now. So Midas Cosmetics has collaborated with the Basic B on the Perception palette. And this one is available now. I'm not familiar with the creator. Wow. She's gorgeous. 
her eye looks are insane. Absolutely beautiful. Her eye looks... Just scrolling through her Instagram, this palette looks very much like her as a creator. It's very bright. There's neon shades, deep rich shades, a few very sparkly metallics, but it is a little more matte heavy. This looks kind of cool. I like the colorful bright mattes in here. Um, I'm more of a shimmer girl. I've said it a million times, but there are some really cool, like really sparkly kind of toppery shades in here. This is a cool release. Congratulations to the Basic B. I don't know who she is, but she is beautiful and her eye looks are incredible. Ooh, the outside of the packaging is pretty. Ooh. The outside of the palette has like a galaxy theme, which I love. I painted a galaxy mural on the ceiling in my sunroom. I love it. I love the galaxy sparkly theme. I'm all about it. And the palette looks really, really cool. So this one is available now in case you were interested. So I think I'm gonna wrap things up with a little sneak peek from Melt Cosmetics. There's a post on Indie Makeup Spotlight, that's an Instagram run by Amy Loves Makeup. And it's a picture saying that yesterday was an eight year anniversary of Melt Cosmetics. And the picture is the Dia de los Muertos collaboration from back in 2019. And it says, P.S. We have some new new in the works. So I do think their Dia de los Muertos collection from 2019 was beautiful. The packaging on that was stunning. So I'm guessing maybe they're sneak peeking another Dia de los Muertos collection. Hopefully they're not getting high again. That's what I'm hoping. I love Halloween spooky kind of stuff. So I have wanted to try stuff from Melt, but nothing has really just grabbed me. I did really, really want their Gemini palette because hello, I am a Gemini. But back then when it came out, I wasn't really into like the grungy army greens. Now I'm definitely more into that kind of grungy army green tone. So if I had been, I probably would have picked up the Gemini. It's kind of old news now, so maybe I'll just keep an eye out for what's coming from them. Hopefully it's like a Dia de los Muertos, spooky, Halloween-y kind of collab. I know it's, it's May, but it's never too early for Halloween. So that was it for my new makeup release video. If you enjoyed it, I hope that you would consider liking, subscribing, and coming back for some more content. Bye.